Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on ironing a shirt. Now, fortunately, we live in a society that's gotten a little more casual. We wear jeans, gym shirts, t-shirts, even when we go out to dinner, things like that. Sometimes it's more casual than it used to be. Um, I know when I was growing up, we dressed up more and we ironed a lot more clothes back then. Now it's not as big of a deal, but sometimes there's still a time where you want to um, maybe look a little bit nicer or something and so you want to iron your clothes or they come out wrinkly and you just you're not going to something casual where you want to look a little bit nicer so I just have a white shirt here that I was going to iron first thing I want to do is show you the ironing board the ironing board is shaped so it'll help you this end over here I'll move mine so you can get in the camera this end over here is kind of more square but it does have rounded edges and then over here on the other end it's pointy so that's to help you with certain things as well so we'll see uh, how both of those are used in the shirt. Okay, so the first thing I do in the shirt is I always start, and you can start what you want in the front, and the top up here in the shoulder is kind of like a square, so I put it here, and so you can see how it fits there, and then this one also has some seams in the front, so I wanna be careful around those, because remember, whatever goes under that iron is gonna come out, um, so if you put a, a wrinkle under the iron, it's going to come out even a worse wrinkle. So you have to kind of make sure it's flattened out before you do the iron. So we'll start out slow. I usually do, once my iron is gone, I'm using steam so you can hear the steam. I kind of iron it over to another spot first just to make sure steam comes out, that it's ready to go and that water doesn't squirt out. And then I can just iron my shirt. And to fit in the camera, I'm doing it left hand. I'm usually right handed. And when I got that pleat, I have flattened out that pleat so that works out good. And the same thing with the next one. And I kind of rub those to make sure it's even, and then I can count up here. Kind of do up in that corner. Again, I'm left-handed here, so you can see in the camera. I'm usually not left-handed, so it's a little awkward. Okay, see that's one spot, an example of where I put a wrinkle in it, and so then I want to make sure I wrinkle that out, take that out. Okay? And I just slide around to the back, scoop that around, and I've got this middle seam right here I want to make sure it's nice and flat. And I bring it around and I slide that up so that corner is back up here. Make sure that part I'm ironing is laying real flat. Pour it out of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna need to switch to my right hand. It's just harder for me to do my left hand. Again. Make sure those pleats are fat. I'm, I'm using this hand to kind of pull, one hand to kind of pull something flat out so that I don't get those wrinkles underneath the iron. Some little fuzzies. Okay, now I didn't get way up here. This is called the yoke of the shirt when there's a little, that little extra fabric up here, that space. I'm gonna keep going and finish the back. I'll show you what I do with that yoke in a little bit. I just keep moving and pulling things to make sure they're straight for the iron. Got a little water right there, so I'm gonna try to get that, it'll dry. Just a little bit of water sometimes. And those fabrics aren't going to hurt. Then I'm going to come back around to the front. Get that corner in there up in that sleeve. Just that little edge right there. Then I take it and go between the buttons here. I really feel like I'm going backwards on the other side of the ironing board than I normally am. I have the camera space for the camera. I can turn it maybe that way, use the corner of the thing that way. Let's see how that works. You just turn it how you need it to be able to keep it flat. Go in between the buttons here. Go up to the top. Into the corner here. Now that top part. That's where I use this pointy edge down here. So I'm going to walk around my ironing board, 
slide it down this way so you can see it. I'm not, you really don't want to move the ironing board around because that's probably not as safe with a hot iron on it. And then I have that over the, kind of like the sleeves starting to go in there. I'm going to get it a spot where I can lay it flat. And then I can do that part up there better. Okay. And again, just move it, have to move it around where you can get to it and get to it flat, make it flat. Seam at the top, then I'm going to do the other one. You can see why that corner of the ironing board or this edge of the board is narrow like that. So this is one, let me think, what age you should be to start ironing your shirts. I would say you're dealing with something that's pretty hot, so you want to make sure you have good control with your hands. All right, so now I've got most of the shirt done. Again, I'm going to hold this. I don't think you should move the ironing board around too much at all. I never do. I just am because I'm having to go back and forth in the camera so you can see. All right, now I have the collar. I lay the collar out flat. And I make sure you get the collar really good. I'm going to do the edges first because you don't want to end up rolling those edges over because you're going to fold it. And you want that to be nice and on the seam. And then this is the side that's going to show because it's going to be folded back when it's on you. And that actually looks pretty good. I don't know that I need to iron it again. So I iron that and then I iron this little collar part in here. That's the part nobody's really going to see. Okay. All right, now how do you do the sleeve? I think about how I'm going to be wearing it. So I kind of put my hand in, lay it flat. And here's the tricky part. You've got two layers. You've got an inside layer. So you might even want to stick your hand inside it, but I get that seam kind of flat. Make sure I get it all out flat so I don't have wrinkles on the back that I can't see, right? And then I just iron that down. And you're ironing the front and the back at the same time. There's little pleats down here at the bottom that I just make kind of pull. Part of the, the ironing also iron also has a pointy part, so you can get into those little corners. And get those pleats nice and flat. Then I go over to the back, see if I did any damage with wrinkles. A little bit. A little bit extra wrinkles right here at the bottom. That sleeve is done. Then we do the other sleeve. Now the important part is try not to wrinkle the other thing you've already ironed up. Maybe you might even want to do the sleeves first because that's where it's kind of kind of get wrinkled up some. Get some little fuzzies off here. Use your iron that way. Then use the pointy part of your iron. Pretty good. Give it a quick one. Do that seam up there, pointy part. And I think we're good. Now, the important part now is that your shirt is ironed. Don't lay it down. Get a hanger and hang it up so that it stays unwrinkled. And you can hang it in your closet, or if you're ready to wear it, you can wear it. All right, that's ironing your shirt.